So, uh, Hello. Dylan Terrence Matthews here and Valerie Matthews. This episode of Walking in Nature. Mm -hmm. We're not going to really be walking. We're more um, like going to be driving in nature. We're so. going to be driving and exploring a bit. Um, and we'll show you, we'll talk to you guys along the way. And I guess you could call this more of a see our everyday nature type things. I don't know what you'd call it. What would you call it? A night adventure? Because it's not much of like our everyday night because our everyday night night, night nature or something like that because half the time we're watching movies. <laughs> True. Well this is our late nights outside of movies. Yeah. But um, I guess you could call it that. But uh um, I don't know how to start this. I guess I feel like I'm on air and I'm kind of nervous about <laughs> this whole thing. But I'm not going to talk about the weather because that's just all bad. But, uh, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. A little so, tired because I cooked dinner. Well, the um, dinner was good. We had, uh... Have to hold that light right there. Okay. You can, don't have to have both hands. So what do we have, love, for dinner? We had chicken Alfredo. Uh, yeah, that was really good. I I made the chicken really good, and I haven't made chicken in about in, in a few years. So yeah, it's been less than a few. Years. It's been about six months. You know what? Let me have it. <laughs> and I also incorporated. If you guys want to do, if you guys want to make the same Alfredo that I made, uh, get. The Sure Shine Pasta Alfredo, and also just get some regular chicken breast, defrost it for 20 minutes, and um, also get like some combos. Is this cooking in nature? Yeah. Just wondering. Well, I mean, it would be if we had a if we had a grill in here, which I don't think we do. Yeah, unfortunately. So. So, which way shall we go? Right left, or left? Left. Left? Left. Into the city. So, we are out of the city right now. Um, Wait, I feel kind of horrible because we're not going to be walking in nature. We're going to be more like walking in the city. We're not walking in the city. It's actually not a city. It's a little town. Um, small little town. Not a big one. But, it's a pretty decent one. One that deserves less than the ceiling. Maybe laid it forward. Right on the way, please. Maybe pick it up. There you go. Can I do it again? Uh huh. Maybe lift it up. Gotta set it on the sock. Slowly but surely, we'll get Set it on the sock. There we go. There we go. So we want to thank you guys for tuning into this episode of Walking in Nature. This one's a, this one's a little different because it's a uh, we're driving in the car. We're moving. Yeah. So we're gonna do a little bit of exploring around the uh, town of Samson um, and give you guys a little sneak peek of the town. I don't know what you call it. I mean, we're not really. We're we're still getting used to the whole program thing. Um, yeah, that's why we sound like we're having broken sentences and we're awkward. We do have broken sentences. It's all awkward. It's not awkward. <laughs> oh gosh, that sounded like a horrible laugh. True. Praise Jesus that God still loves me. Yes, indeed. So, did you learn anything? Uh, I don't know, because sometimes when we're on the road or when we're, when we're, re when we're reading stuff like, you know, uh, books or something, we always find a moral inside certain things. Like, did you hear anything interesting on the radio today? I did. I was listening to K-Love, um, which is a uh, radio station I'm pretty sure you guys are all familiar with. 
um, and Prouder's new song, uh, Let It Rain, came out. Uh-huh. Or came on. Uh-huh. And it was phenomenal. I, I was really excited. Uh-huh. And... I had a thought. Let's go to the right. We're gonna go to Geneva, actually. Okay. So you had a thought. I well, I actually got really excited because I saw I was hearing the song and I just got really excited. Uh -huh. Um, and it was just one of those uh, moments you get super excited when you're. Uh, well, when you hear a, so a good song. A and, good song, yeah. And you start like imagining like certain things that can happen in your life or can happen in a story. Man, I loved that song when I heard it first. I didn't realize yeah. how much I loved it until after I heard it today. I heard it twice. But well, why did you love it so much? I don't know. It just it got me super happy. It got it, it was making a difference in my day. Um, well, you know what the meaning behind it is, right? Yeah, right? Do you? Yeah. What is it? Well, things, things in life don't always go your way, so we have to remember that the God that made the sun and the earth is also the one that makes the rain and makes the plants grow. That is true. That is so true. And we have to allow God to utilize us as we are so that we people don't think that we're fake. Yeah, you know, I was reading in the book of Mark one time, it was in chapter 7, and it was when uh, the Pharisees were questioning his disciples as to why they didn't have clean hands, so to speak. And I got a moral from that whole scenario, and it was, you don't have to have your, you don't have to have, be perfectly perfect in order to serve Jesus or in order to serve all other people. You could be imperfect, but still have a, 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 a good heart in the matter. Jesus accepts us for how we are. You know? Yeah. I'd have to go more in depth with it so that way I can that way you can understand it better. Mm -hmm. But that was what basically it was. And to me the Pharisees sound like a nagging wife. Not me. <laughs> but they sound like a nagging old 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 wife that goes, Where are you going? What are you doing? Oh my gosh, I'm what, what are you thinking about? Yeah, the, the Honor, Pharisees... that's a Facebook. Oh, oh, wait, that's like a Facebook status. So, we've got, sorry, I'm, I'm having to turn the lights off. When cars approach, you can't have the overhead cabin light on. Yeah. Because um, it could potentially blind them. Yeah. So, um, but back to the, the story. Well, give me a story that you really like that could make a difference in our viewers' lives. Does it have to be in the Bible, or does That it... would probably be a good one. Okay. I think, I think the book of John, chapter 13. Okay, what's that one about? It's, it's about when uh, Jesus is washing his disciples' feet. Uh -huh. And Simon, though we know him as Peter in the later books, yeah. um, he was asking Jesus, so why are you washing these, people, these people's feet? I mean, I don't want you to wash my feet because I'm already good. But, uh -huh. as a matter of fact, Jesus was trying to demonstrate uh, how he was demonstrating the washing of people's sins. Yeah. And I think it's so important because people don't understand the concept of grace. They think grace is, like, earned or it's, it's like a contract between you and Jesus, and it's not. Grace is, it's like, it's like you're washing dishes. You wash all the muck out, and then you have a clean heart or you have a clean plate that's what grace is it's it's i don't know how to explain it i guess it's because i'm on camera and i don't know how to explain you just it. talk as if you're talking to me grace is sort of like a divine favor without really a questionable favor and i love this story because jesus demonstrates how to give grace to other people and how to love other people you, when you give grace to someone, even if it's someone you don't like, or if it's your spouse, or if it's a friend, you're showing love for that person by forgiving them no matter what they've done, and forgetting what they've done. Yeah. And it's so phenomenal. And it's like, when I was reading the story for the first time, I was nearly in tears, but not in tears, you know? What do you think? Um, you know, it was, it's one of those things that 
I love to read about. Well, what is grace for you? Like, what is grace to you? Well, grace to me is a thing that. Hold on, let me pull over so I can actually talk. So, grace to me is something that's a gift from God. Mm -hmm. God gives us grace when we come to Him and ask for His favor, ask for His love. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You think that sounds about right? Yeah. So, if we want God's grace, shouldn't we be actively seeking it? Yeah, I so, think so. I don't. I don't know. I don't quite know where to go from here. Have you, when you were growing up, did mm -hmm. you ever crave forgiveness? Oh, all the time. You know, funny. I don't think I've ever told you this. Okay. But funny thing is, is when I was a kid, I was thirteen, and this is how I knew. This is how I met Jesus. Um, I was craving forgiveness from an ex-boyfriend's mother because she didn't like me and I sort of disrespected her in a sense and she just called me a bunch of names and I don't know why but I was craving her forgiveness. Mm -hmm. And I had to learn over the years and through Joyce Meyer's book, The Power of Forgiveness, okay. that forgiveness is not about the other person, it's about yourself and it took me about two years to get over that whole thing but to really understand that God was there through it all and that he that even though I couldn't get forgiveness from that person I got forgiveness from him for simply accepting him in my life yeah and that's also where grace comes in you 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 get you accept the forgiveness from God um, that we all are sinners we can't just I mean what well, we can we can walk around we can live a life without God well, what is what what's life without our heavenly father how why live without when we could live with and be so much more in abundance of things we receive an abundance of health abundance of wealth and a family you know funny thing is is that i've for the past two like for the past year Ever since I got my that dog bite on my arm. For the uh, past six months. For the, thank you. <laughs> for the past six months, I've experienced, a, like, not, not a life without God because I've been following Jesus since I was 18. Mm -hmm. But I each time that I learn something from God, I, I want to grasp it like as if it's a teddy bear. Uh-huh. And I want to hold on to it each, every day. And I, I do. I mean, yes, I'm not perfect, but. No one is. But I, I love the fact that I have a life without, a, a life without, um, on, uh, without emptiness. I, I love the fact that I have Jesus in my life because it's, it's awesome getting to hear him talk to you. And even when you don't even talk to him first mm -hmm. and it's, it's just, it's so cool that even after you're not, even after you don't pray for so long, he's just there like, Hey, what's up? Haven't talked to you in a while. <laughs> and I just I just love having a life with Jesus because it's sometimes I trust him more than I trust the human race mm -hmm. and with that being said do you have any advice for anyone that may be watching well good advice um, that you can actually give that you're not working on well then again everyone's always working on something which is why we're not perfect. If we were, we'd be heavenly. Yeah, well, we'd be in heaven. Yeah. But in the meantime, while we're here on earth, what can you tell people that are watching this right now? I think I can tell people that, uh, who are watching this that... Um, always, always, always pray. It's the number one thing. But also, have the faith for the hard times, especially when you're in a, in a bind with life or with yourself. Always seek 
God always just... I don't... How am I supposed to say this? Seek God with your heart and with your spirit. But walk your walk without hatred. There you go. And that was a quote that I haven't heard before, and I think that just came out of my mouth. Yes, and that was probably given to you by the Holy Spirit. Yeah. So, for all of you guys I, listening... Oh my gosh, I was crying. Oh my gosh. You're okay. For all <laughs> of you watching this episode of Walking in Nature, I'm not... Should it be Walking in Nature? Oh, well, why don't, why why don't, don't we call it getting real in nature? Because we're getting real and we're out in nature. And it's... People want to know the real side of us, not this... Hi everybody, I'm Valerie. I'm Hi a everybody, I'm Dylan. I'm a robot. <laughs> no, <laughs> just no. So we, uh, you might see different kinds of episodes uh, from us. Um, this is filmed directly by us and with a very good phone camera. <laughs> um, so... We're, uh, we're really appreciative that you guys are watching this right now. And if you guys want to watch more of this episode and any other episode you may see, you can go to FruitfulTV.com, tune in live to the broadcast when it airs, or you can go on demand. Oh, and you can also request it on Facebook. Just comment below and go, Hey, can you guys do another episode of that thing that you guys do in nature kind of a thing? Send us a message on Facebook. You can even... Uh, tweet us, uh, Instagram, and uh, Facebook us. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in to this episode. We hope to see you guys next time. Until next time, my name is Dylan Terrence Matthews. I'm one of the hosts, and you are... Valerie Matthews. We want to thank you guys for tuning in to Fruitful TV and listening to this. Uh, wherever you may be in the world, um, just remember that God will always be with you and never leave you. And we should probably end this with a touching hug. <laughs> okay. So, have a great night. Bye. Bye.